Yeah, that's what I was thinking on the back. I, I was going to flip the seat off, but it's really stiff, so yeah. I'll, I'll wait till I get the seat belts. Because I'm thinking it should be able to attach them to the brackets that hold the seat back. It up, you know. Yeah. The door shut beautifully, which is sometimes a problem. Yeah, no, that's the other. The doors are so heavy sometimes they hang, they hang on the. Hinge. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I kept all the girls with the caddy. Don't leave that door hanging. Right. And, and make sure it's closed. Yeah. You know because they they they're so heavy that they. <clears throat> There's so much room in here, like, especially the passenger, it's just... Oh, I see, there's the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I don't know if that's just... He might have ordered that separate and didn't decide not to mount it. I'll bet this came. Yeah. But they, they offered that or something and... Probably an option. Eh? Yeah. Let's see, this is 1733 or 4 or yeah. something, yeah. Apparently they made 2000 the first one they give to Princess of Monaco. Right. It's all sales stuff, eh? You know, so. Is it just that indent that? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Is there any special start key here? No. It just, just starts really good. good. Yeah. I've got to get it tuned. Uh, I know a mechanic friend of mine says, you need to give it a little bit of tune, maybe. Um, yeah, so. I just want to put the window down a little bit. Yeah. Which one's that? That one, one there, yeah. I love how it just jumps to action. Yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're, uh, they don't fool around. No. no. <laughs> well, it's been a long, long time. I was watching the videos with mom. We have those home videotapes. Oh yeah. And in one of the, uh, tapes, it was the car getting delivered to my grandma's house. Oh, oh. Is the big button drive? Yeah. I forgot how much pep, like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. They, they, it's got a lot of poop this Yeah. Thing. For such a big car, that's crazy. Yeah. I once went 100 miles an hour in this. In by 62, but I was scared shitless by that point because oh, yeah. the steering was so yeah, yeah. It, it's so soft, you yeah, know, yeah. that it was hard to keep on the road. And the other thing I remember is the brakes just being like yeah. awesome. When you, uh, I used to lock them up sometimes because you'd get into another car oh, yeah. that doesn't have power brakes, and suddenly you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a quick thing down to the sure, future. Sure, yeah, wherever you want. Yeah. It's a terrible road, but I'll. They. Uh, the fastest one I ever had was um, I had a 56 Pontiac American. Yep. It was about 18 inches longer than the Canadian model. Right. It had a 383. Well, I'm not sure what it was, but right. everybody thought it had a 383 in it. But it had a four speed hydromatic. Yep. I'd never seen it before. Right. You could hold it in, in uh, third gear, 75 mile an hour. Right. <laughs> so the other's like an overdrive, probably. Yeah, yeah. But that's the only time I've been in a. In, my own car that was over 100. The yeah. needle was buried. Whatever it was. I yeah. Remember. Well, there was lots of Canadian Pontiacs and a bunch of really weird ones, eh? Yeah. Like ones on Chevy frames, but yeah. they had like a you know a Pontiac top. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beaumonts and the. Yeah. Is it clockwork? No, that's, I, that's the only thing. It was work. it was a rhetorical question. Yeah, I know, I know. That's right. That's the only thing I, on these old cars that do. I've it never right. had any car with a clogger. No, not once. Yeah. Didn't matter I, what year. Didn't matter what. I, mean. I I was thinking, oh, maybe it does work. Someone else <laughs> rebuild the bastard, but it's probably a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those square, this one might also be an option. Yeah. I just remember mine having a big round one. Oh, is that right? Yeah. 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 That's the thing I miss, you know, you're so used to now with the new ones, they all have two mirrors. Yeah. On the Caddy, I bought one. This is, I tried to match it as good as I could, but, yeah. you know, they're all plastic now. Yeah. And I put one over here because I drove me crazy with that Caddy yeah. trying to back it up. I don't even I don't even look over there anymore in the, in the valley and it's just like, yeah, it's not there. Right, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, 
there's no mirror in it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you know? That might have been an option. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, yeah. I never robbed in the tire. Yeah, you can hear it, man. And of course, the old vents right down here. Yeah, the, the uh, yeah. yeah. Put over there. Studebaker has that, too. Yeah. Although I'm scared to open them, they're rusted right Yeah. And our Land Cruisers all had uh, vents down there. Yeah. yeah. Janice and I bought, um, uh, we blew the tran transmission out of our 80 Cadillac and, uh, on the connector between, uh, between the uh, Kelowna and uh, Merritt there. Yeah. So we towed the car back into Peachland area. The garage to get it fixed. The guy said, oh, you're going to going to take me a week or so to get a transmission for it. So we were running, walking around town and we saw this 58 uh, Edsel sitting up on the hill yep. for sales. So we went to have a look at it and uh, they wanted too much money and they, yeah. the rocker panels, everything had been redone on it. And thinking, oh, I wonder how much rust is under this paint, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we found this old 58, uh, no, 59 Caddy, or 59 Edsel this farmer had in his field and I can't remember what it was he wasn't asking very much money for it but it had, he had redone all the chrome yeah just and an expensive it, thing to do yeah and the car I couldn't find any rust on the car it's sitting in the farmer's field yeah, it seems know? impossible yeah and he said well I uh, I see on your plates I said up until last year when you were driving it Oh yeah, I drove it. He said, no, I just sleep in Skull's magazine, sir. I come out in the summertime and I sleep in the back of it. And you know that car, we bought it off him with a steering wheel, you know, when I was driving it home. Yeah. It was going like this. Yeah. So I got it home, we got that fixed, then we got the car fixed, and then we were going to restore it. No, we didn't have time or money to do no. it. So we took, gave it to her dad in Alberta. Yeah. And he was going to restore it. Her uncle saw it, and he owns a big bus company. Eh? Yeah. So he bought it off us, and he restored it 100%. We saw it about two years later. He done redone everything on it. It was just us, just a four-door sedan. Yeah. 59 Edson. But uh, my brother used to have a 58, <clears throat> and it was a four-door hardtop. It was uh, powerful. I don't know what engine they had. Yeah. But it had a lot of poop. The, um, the problem with doing those is obviously there was only so many years, right? Yeah. So as far as the parts availability, uh, you couldn't just rate the Ford bin necessarily, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there is some things that are just Ford, but... Yeah. This rover needs really something done with it. switches. Yeah. This mechanic friend of ours, he said, oh, it's just need to be clean. Yeah, sometimes the contacts just get all corroded. And yeah. They just won't do. <laughs> Buddy behind me is going, okay, Grandpa, let's get going. <laughs> just take it on one uh, jaunt up there. And then yeah, there. sure. Even though uh, mechanically it was all well. Yeah. But the body was going in certain places. Yeah. Well, the ones that I looked at, that was the problem. Yeah. The one I looked at, this guy had, it was a 62, but he says, I got 61 seats in it. Or, yeah. <laughs> I, got, no, I, said, yeah, I got a spare transmission, I got a spare motor. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Probably a good idea. Yeah. And I said, I'm not really into it. That much work on the road. It might take a bit. Yeah. I don't want to have to restore it. Man. No. Yeah. I don't have it in me either. No, See? it's it's a whole different one. Yeah. You gotta love it to do that. Yeah. So, I like driving. 
actually enter it. Yeah. And uh, the guy said, you know, when you're killing for these things, there's all kinds of little things you need to do. I said, okay, what's that? He says, these hoods, they've been, <clears throat> they're, they got a bad reputation for kinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says, you got to so keep, keep it oil. Keep those hinges oil. Right. He said, because if you buckle it, there's no you fixing that. No. <laughs> And he's right. I I never would have thought about well, it. I've seen people put uh, bars of steel underneath to read. To oh, read, is that right? It, it yeah. looks like garbage when you yeah, 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 yeah. So I bought myself a little oil can. And yeah. Faithfully, every time spring. Chevy trucks do that too because the uh, the hinge doesn't go forward enough, oh, so it's yeah. on the back side of the of the point. Yeah, yeah. You see. So that. the more you're up and down, it just it starts to kink and break. Yeah, you see it every once in a while. Somebody's pushed it too hard. Yeah. I don't know how much that, but it's. It's heavy. <laughs> These doors, I think, were 160 pounds or something like that. Oh, yeah, they're, they're heavy doors. That Cadillac's the ultimate is heavy doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep telling them, I says, you guys can't leave it partially open, you know, when you, no. you slam it and it doesn't go closed. Yeah. I said, always lift up and it close it. Yeah. You know? It's not a big deal, but you'll save yourself a lot of headaches if you do that. looks in high school because there's only a couple other kids with something classic. Oh yeah. But even in the 80s these were much harder to find because they were only really 20 something year old cars. Yeah. People were trying to get rid of them because of the gas problem. Oh yeah. yeah. And so it was actually a pretty cheap way to get into a classic car. Yeah. I think originally it cost 8000 or something like that. Yeah. I know. And it didn't need a whole lot. They just needed that paint job. Yeah. Yeah. I almost bought a 62 again. Yeah. They only wanted $3,500 for it. Oh, yeah. And it was running and driving. I don't know what overall shape it was. Yeah. At that time, I had the money, so I probably should have done it. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. The, the younger guys, they do really keen about them. A lot of people just don't care about cars at all. Uh, you get an Uber or whatever, and that's it. Yeah. That really surprises me. You know, I thought there'd be a lot more little bits of noise that yeah. you'd hear all the time, but it's just so quiet. <clears throat> but I, like I say, the first guy that had it you know, must have been his baby. He must have had another vehicle. Yeah, oh yeah. And he kept it in the garage all the time. But, yeah. you know, for 57 years, you know, it's a yeah. long time to keep, no, a, keep a car uh, all tuned up and, you know. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're quite welcome. That was absolutely fantastic. Well, it's nice, you know, people will, will appreciate these old vehicles. Uh, there's not so much anymore, you know? Yeah.